Hey everyone, I'm Hans Walter Peterson and I'm a viticulturist with Cornell here in the fabulous Finger Lakes. And I was out on a vineyard walk this afternoon checking some things out. Uh, it's just before bud break here. And I saw something that I thought would be good to kind of point out um, about pruning. Uh, even though pruning is pretty much already done, here it's the uh, middle of April by now. Um, but I saw something in this vineyard block that I thought it would be good to point out. And it's this, right here. These obviously are clusters left over from last season uh, at harvest. Now this vineyard is picked by a machine, and so a lot of times the berries just come off the off the uh, stems by themselves. The, the rachis, the stem, doesn't come off with it. Um, and so the reason I'm pointing this out is that these stems can be an important source of disease this coming season. So last year. Uh, these stems or these berries might have had some black rot spores or powdery mildew or something like that get onto them. And those diseases then will overwinter on tissue like this. So because these can be important sources of inoculum the following year, it's really important to cut these out when you're pruning. A lot of times if I go into a vineyard block and I see problems with uh, black rot, for example, a lot of times if you lift up the canopy and look underneath, you'll see a bunch of these. Um, they're the source of that infection and just there's a lot of, of spores that get generated from these old this old tissue so it's really important to cut this stuff out while you're pruning in order to reduce that disease load so it's an important concept to remember that pest management is something that we do not just during the growing season with sprayers and with controlling canopy um, but it's also kind of doing some of these sanitation practices are really important for uh, disease management as well